everyone welcome back to my youtube channel sales person this is rohit and today i'm going to discuss about spring 25 new feature for the apex so if you want to learn this new feature so please stay tuned and watch this video until end and don't skip any part of this video so let's get started without any further delay so first of all let me tell you one thing before starting this feature thanks for introducing two new methods regarding this spring 25 for the you know pause and resume schedule jobs in system class you will be see this you know two methods i will show you in the practical example okay in the apex schedule job so first method is pause job by the name and pause job by id and uh, you can resume the job or you know resume the job by the name and resume the job by the id so these methods very helpful for us if you working on the schedule class so i will create one schedule class and then we will see how we can pause or you know resume this uh, uh, schedule class so please stay tuned in this video and also please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side okay so let me create one new apex class so control c p and create the apex class name it can be anything but uh, for now i'm using like uh, my schedule class something like that enter it now you can see this is the apex class right and uh, let me implement interface that is schedulable okay so implements so it's implements right implement schedulable so this is the interface you have to you know implement in this class let me create this class as a global because it's a best practice always usually global or public based on your you know need or business requirement so now i'm using like global okay so if you don't know about the axis modifier so you can watch my earlier video regarding the global private protected okay and uh, you know public these all you know keywords specifier so you can leverage this feature so here first of all let me create the you know method let's say global void and uh, execute schedule context sc so this interface okay so this interface contained this method that is execute okay and then you can write your logic as you have let's say simple logic or you can use any batch class inside this schedule and you can schedule the batch class based on the business need but for now i'm not using any logic here for your understanding purpose i'm going to discuss about these four methods or introduce in system class that is pause and resume right so please don't be take like uh, uh, this is the scenario based but this is for implementation regarding these two method in a new spring 25 release okay so this is the si simple system dot debug and then you can see like my schedule class executed at uh, this time okay let me save this class and uh, once you save this class now you can deploy your class to the o so once you deploy it now you can see successfully deploy my apex class after that you can schedule this apex class how we can schedule it there are so many ways to schedule the uh, this schedule class okay using salesforce ui or using programmatically using the cron expression right so let me open my you know script and then we will see this one that is apex this one okay so let me remove the existing one here you have to write your cron expression so let me try to add like a string okay a string cron expression okay and uh, i want to execute this schedule class in the afternoon 12 o'clock okay so how we can make it this cron expression so equal to so equal to and then in the single quote we have to use like 0 0 space 12 and then star and then star and then question mark so this is the cron expression if you don't know about it you can google it and you can watch any kind of video as we have based on the you know cron expression so this is simply you know uh, every day at 12 pm okay so this is the you know cron expression after that you have to create your instance of your schedule class so this is my schedule class so let me copy this one and create the instance of this class like my schedule and new my schedule class right after that you can schedule it 
So how we can schedule it? So using system class, we have schedule method. So we can use like system dot schedule and then my job cron expression and the instance of your schedule class. So cron expression you can see and this is the job name. Okay, so you have to pass three parameter of this schedule method inside this system class. So this is the you know prerequisite. You have to run this you know script. After that, you can see this uh, you know schedule class inside the Salesforce is scheduled or not. So let me click on this execute. And after that, you can see successfully executed. How we can see that? So in my Salesforce home, you can see my Salesforce home. Click on the home button. And here you have to search like schedule. Click on the schedule jobs. And now you can see this is my job. This is the job. We already we already added this job name in my cron expression in the schedule method, right? And here you can see the manage dal dal means delete and pause job okay and this is submitted by and date and this is the cron trigger id so how we can make this uh, schedule job uh, you know pause and resume based on the new method okay based on you know need you can do that there are so many ways you can do anything right so you by using the ui also you can make it like pause and resume or by using programmatically you can also you know make this job as pause and resume so first of all i will tell you using the ui so right now it's a pause job here you can see the schedule and let me click on this pause job it means your job is paused here you can see if you want to resume your job so just click on this resume job so you can toggle it like pause job resume job here you can see right based on your need so this is the one way to using the ui but let me tell you the another way the programmatically that is have you know two methods in this release i will tell you here you have like a vs code you can also use this one so first of all let me tell you the first method that is pause job by name and this method is available inside the system class so you have to use system dot pause right pause job by name so my job name is my job okay and uh, just execute this one this single line of code execute it and after that you will be see uh, my you know schedule job will be paused using this one right so you can see here you know, it's already paused so that's why you can see the status as a resume job so if you need like a resume job so also you can use like a system dot right and that is resume okay resume job by name so let me execute this uh, uh, line number seven and then you will be see the job will be you know paused and resume based on the need you can do that so here after that you can see like pause job it means resume you can pause it using click this one it's a toggle one once you clicked it it's automatic change so we already seen uh, using the you no know, job name Okay, now let me tell you how we can use the you know, ID, cron trigger job ID. So based on the ID also you can make it this one. And this is the by name. So by ID also we can use it. So let me tell you the first thing here, like system dot pose, okay, pose job by ID. So let me tell you the ID first of all, if you don't know about the ID, how we can get it. So there are so many things you can use it so first of all you can just copy and paste it this id into your code or you can make a sql query to get this you know a cron job id so just you have to remove this id uh, there's done this one right so just execute this line of code and let's see in the excel so let me refresh this page and once you refresh it now here you can see it's already paused right let me resume it so let me resume it so resume here you can resume by id let me execute it and once you execute it now you can see your job will be you know resumed so just you can see this one programmatically okay so this is how you can make your you know uh, schedule class 
पोज एंड रिज्यूम बेस्ड ऑन दी यू नो जो जो बाई नेम जो बाई आई डी तो गाइज आई होप यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू फील लाइक दिस इज द वेरी मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव फॉर एस सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ऑल्सो टर्न ऑन दी वेल आई कैन फॉर मोर अपडेट सो यू नवर वी मिस एनी काइंड ऑफ अपडेट फ्रॉम माई साइड सो टिल देन बाय बाय टेक केयर सी आ थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग आई सी यू अगेन बाय बाय